American rapper, songwriter, audio engineer, record producer, and entrepreneur, Andre Rommel Young, better known as Dr. Dre, was born in Compton, California. His first taste of the limelight came as a member of electro hip hop group, World Class Wrecking Crew, during the 80s. He would find even greater fame several years later as a member of hip hop group NWA. The group would release two albums before Dre decided to strike out on his own. He released his solo debut studio album titled The Chronic in 1992 on Death Row Records, a label he co-founded and co-owned. Several years after that, he left Death Row to start his own label, Aftermath Entertainment, and would go on to sign several future superstars in the hip-hop genre, such as Eminem and 50 Cent. He also played an instrumental role in the careers of many other artists, such as Tupac, Snoop Dogg, and The Game. In July 2008, Dre's music empire took a whole new turn when he released his first product under his new audio products manufacturer company, Beats by Dr. Dre. Side note, that name would prove to have more meanings than one. The company took off and six years later, multinational technology company Apple bought Beats for $3 billion and skyrocketed Dre's net worth into the stratosphere. Even though Dre's been hard at work since his teens building his empire, he was never too busy for the ladies. 16-year-old Dre and his then-girlfriend, 15-year-old Cassandra Joy Green, became first-time parents to a son they named Curtis. Dre wasn't present in his son's life, so he was brought up by Cassandra, who would eventually go on to marry someone else. Curtis would meet his father for the first time when he was 20 years old, after his mother and stepfather divorced. He followed in his famous father's footsteps, becoming a rapper under the name Hood Surgeon. Dre quickly moved on and with ex-girlfriend Lisa Johnson had three daughters. Five years after that, Dre and Janita Porter had a son. This time around, they decided to make him Dre's namesake, Andre Young Jr. After their relationship soured, Janita would sue Dre for child support. On August 23, 2008, Andre died at the age of 20 from an overdose of heroin and morphine at his mother's home in Los Angeles. Dre began dating R&B singer Michelle A in the late 80s. They eventually became engaged and had a son named Marcel. She left him in 1996 after she discovered that he was engaged to another woman. In the years following their split, Michelle claimed Dre was physically abusive to her during their relationship. Naturally, around the time that the NWA biopic Straight Outta Compton was released in 2015, Michelle's name came up in relation to Dre. She would do a couple of candid interviews about her experiences with the hip hop mogul, with New York's Power 105.1 morning show, The Breakfast Club, as well as Vlad TV. The following year, Michelle's fans and supporters would get to hear the whole story in her lifetime biopic called Surviving Compton, Dre, Suge, and Michelle. One particular horrific incident was after a night out drinking. Dre came home and beat her out of her sleep. He apologized and they cried together in bed. However, the abuse continued. Journalist and former host of the Fox hip hop video show, Pump It Up, Dee Barnes, also knew all too well about Dre's abusive nature. She spoke about an infamous 1991 assault over an interview she did with rapper and fellow NWA group member Ice Cube. The segment featured a cross cut between members of the group dissing their former partner, who had left the year prior following a bitter financial dispute, and a previous interview with Cube in which he badmouthed them. The members of NWA thought the interview made them look bad, and they were going to do something about it. A couple of months later, at a record release party in LA, Dre confronted Dee. According to her, he picked her up and began slamming her face and body repeatedly against a wall as his bodyguard held off the crowd. He tried to throw her down some stairs but failed, so he began kicking her in the ribs. She initially escaped and ran into a restroom. Dre followed and resumed his attack once he got a hold of her again, punching her in the back of the head. Finally, he and his bodyguard fled the building. None of the members of NWA denied the attack took place. Dre himself even doubled down. 
People talk all this sh but you know, somebody f with me, I'm gonna f with them. I just did it, you know? Ain't nothing you can do now by talking about it. Besides, it ain't no big thing. I just threw her through a door. D would later file charges and sue Dre for $22 million. They eventually settled out of court. Dre apologized for his behavior in an interview with the New York Times in August 2015. By 1996, Dre decided it was time to finally settle down and marry the woman he'd been cheating on Michelet with. Lawyer Nicole Threat, NBA player Sadal Threat's ex-wife. Nicole was actually still married when they met. While Michelle gave Dre many years of her life, Nicole only had to date him for six months before he put a ring on it. They would have two children together, a son and a daughter. Marriage, however, did nothing to curb Dre's appetite for women. In 2000, he hooked up with popular video vixen Corinne Steffens. It should also be noted that at some point, Dre had another child, a daughter named Tyra, with another woman. It's unclear whether or not this child was born before his marriage to Nicole or during, since the identity of the mother appears to be a closely guarded secret. Nicole filed for divorce in June 2020, citing irreconcilable differences. A couple of months later, it was reported that she was asking for $2 million per month in spousal support. She also accused him of hiding valuable assets after they split. Interestingly, Nicole, who fiercely stood by her husband's side when he was accused of being physically abusive towards his exes years ago, is now speaking out about the domestic violence she claims she experienced with Dre. She claimed that he even held her at gunpoint on two separate occasions. Dre denied the allegations. At the end of the year, Latanya Young, the eldest of the three daughters Dre had with ex-girlfriend Lisa Johnson, broke her silence, claiming that she hasn't seen her father in nearly 20 years. She hoped with the divorce pending that her father would be more receptive to fixing their relationship. Latanya always believed that Nicole hindered her attempts to get close to him. On January 5th, 2021, Dre was rushed to Cedar sinai Medical Center in Los Angeles after reportedly suffering a brain aneurysm. It seems only fitting at this time that he would invite another young lady into his life to help lift his spirits. Enter April Jones, baby mama times two of R&B group B2K member Omarion. The two were first spotted leaving a restaurant in LA together a month after his medical emergency. It wasn't clear who Dre was with at first, since she was wearing a mask. However, a distinctive tattoo on her hand, identical to the one April has, pretty much confirmed it was, in fact, her. Also at this time, Dre broke his silence on his bitter divorce battle and recent hospitalization in a new snippet of his upcoming album titled Detox. In an Instagram Live video, he featured a two-minute preview of an unmastered track that seems to reference the feelings and emotions he's been experiencing during these recent ordeals. Now, back to this dumpster fire of a divorce. In April 2021, a judge ruled that Dre's three alleged mistresses must give depositions in his divorce. The judge believes that each of them may have information relevant to the issue of temporary support and fees, as well as validity and enforceability of the alleged premarital agreement. Nicole's payday came in July 2021, when her ex-husband was ordered to pay nearly $300,000 per month in spousal support, cover the expenses of their Malibu and Pacific Palisades homes, and take care of her health insurance. It's only a fraction of what Nicole originally demanded. However, the judgment does fall in line with the couple's prenuptial agreement. It's also consistent with what Dre had already been paying since the initial separation. Months after their first sighting together, Dre and April seemed to still be enjoying each other's company. In fact, in early July, she posted a bootylicious thirst trap photo of herself on Instagram and claimed that he told her to post it. He is presumed to be Mr. Young. Even the gorgeous mansion that she's posing in front of is said to belong to him as well. Only time will tell if Miss April will end up being the one to send Dre's offspring count into the double digits. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and comment. Also, don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notifications so you won't miss any future videos. See you next time.